For me, International Women's Day is about celebrating the world-changing contributions of women who fought for our rights, whose work is often marginalized and made invisible because they are Indigenous, Black, other persons of color, or because they live with disabilities, are transgender, non-binary, queer, or because of any other forms of discrimination that they may face because of who they are. Um, International Women's Day is about honoring their activism, their courage, their strength, bravery, and conviction, and standing in solidarity with those who came before me and who are still fighting for us and our rights. Because until we are all free, none of us are free. I salute women, especially those women who like gone their way through the top and prove themselves like uh, how they want to be or how can they can they contribute to the world and to be an eye opener if um, if needed to other women or people who wants to be motivated who wants inspiration and they serve as one that women have the right to do whatever men can do and that they can get any t- sort of job that they want and that they can go to school and to become whatever women are the backbone of society and i don't mean that as a knock on any man i just believe that if you're open to listen and if you're open to do i think you're going to be successful many people often think that equality has been reached especially in the west they they often are aware that in overexploited countries that you know equality is still a thing but they think that here in the West that, you know, we have it good, that there's no need for, you know, something like International Women's Day or that women don't have to fight for rights anymore and that kind of stuff. And that's really not the case. There's still a lot of inconsistencies and things that and inequalities that are are glaringly obvious to some of us, but maybe not all. Yes and no, like a little bit. Like right now, women can do things that men do, but not everything. Back then, they couldn't vote and they couldn't get all the jobs. But when the men would go to war, they could, they had to help out with like the farms and stuff. And so now people can do that now, but they still have a couple things that they don't, they can't get along with. A big part would be the equality in wages. I believe that if you do the job, you should be equal to a man's wage. For me, maybe I am thankful in a way that I I got it, the chance to like somehow prove myself as a woman. But for others that I um, had a chance to meet their their culture, like I I, I realized that 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 is how they treat women. I'm kind of sad because um, even if they have these traits or characteristics that inside them that they can they can can do something really different from how they were brought up, how they treated, how their culture is. Um, They feel that they have to contribute something that they want to achieve. They cannot do it because of their culture, because of how they are treated, because some even have no education at all because they are not allowed to. Well, I guess one of the biggest things that I see is women often don't feel like they're being heard. And I think sometimes they don't really say what they have on their heart. When you live in a place like we do, we live in a 55 plus. And you know, the stories of strength that you hear from these ladies is amazing. Things that they did years ago that we take for granted now. And just the strength that they've shown to get through everything. It's amazing. The woman that I look up to is my mom because she's pretty great and she helps me do the rough patches in life. I admire all women who wake up every day and go out into the world and just persevere and do what they need to do, achieve what they need to achieve or don't because It's hard to be a woman. My grandmother, she contributed a lot uh, while I'm growing up because I maybe (laughs) I was able to see how strong she was because she she lived um, during 
World War II, she witnessed a lot of things that you cannot imagine. Well, even if she's like sharing us those stories, cannot imagine how they, you know, struggle or how hard that experience is and uh, was able to go through over to it. I think my mom and my mother-in-law were great influences on me uh, with real definitions of faith, of what it meant to be a woman of faith. They were strong and advocates of prayer. And I would like my granddaughters to be able to say no and to know that they're worth it and that they are loved unconditionally. That's what I want them to know. Sexual assaults. You know, it's still, it's not a believe women kind of world yet. And I wish my kid didn't have to grow up in that kind of a world where she didn't have to worry about if something were to happen to her that she could just trust. I want them to be able to have a easy life without having to do all the riots. And I want them to have uh, equality with men. And I want them to just be able to do whatever they would want. Definitely being strong and being resilient. I That's um, the very thing that I can see in every women that I thing that, that I meet. We can all be strong. We can be strong in very different ways. Your strength will be something very different than mine. A friend will have very different strength than I have. But if we all work together, it becomes pretty strong, powerful. That's what I want to say, powerful. Imagine a community of women inspiring its daughters granddaughters and nieces, to refuse to twist their lives out of shape to fit into expectations, supporting them to refuse to please others by pretending to be less intelligent and gifted than they are, and empowering them to love their women bodies regardless. Imagine yourself as part of this community. Patricia Lynn Riley.